Okay, this is a short video to show the menu options for at least on PlayStation. I'm sure every Xbox and PC and stuff are similar, but I'm on PlayStation, so that's what we're showing. Uh, they do have manual saves. They have 10 of them, and they can you can see whether it's Edward or Emily. Load game is where you can delete save files, and you can also see which one you want to load. They have one autosave. Since they only have one autosave, you might employ the three file rotating system so that you always have at least one per chapter to go back to in case something happens. I really haven't had much happen at all. I lost audio in chapter two. That's been pretty much about it as far as game files go. Uh, for options, you can turn tutorials on and off. They have easy, standard, and hard. Player guidance is um, modern or old school. Old school is like no tips whatsoever, and modern is more tips. So that's something that's different for this game than others I normally see. More objectives will provide hints. Objects can be active, more visible. You can turn all this stuff off, looks like. Here's the control layout. It does not look like uh, any buttons are remappable. Burden. Subtitles. We have English, Japanese, German, and French. Text, English, oh my god. That scared the crap out of me because I was not expecting it. Is there a lot of languages? Oh, there's English. Okay, we'll go back. And then display. Performance or quality. I'm on an old TV, so it really doesn't matter for my purposes <laughs> at all. I changed depth of field. And motion blur. So then one thing they have, I do not have, I just bought your basic. So, but you can turn on the 8-bit, I guess, if that's something that you want. <laughs> not sure I can handle that personally. But if that's something you want, you can turn that on. Turn that off. So, and so that's about it give you a sense of what's in the menus and stuff like that so hope that helps somebody